WSYR TV. This is News Channel 9. Good evening, everyone. I'm Andrew Donovan. We're only with you for a few minutes right now, but we'll see you for News Channel 9 at 11. After months of not knowing if a football season would happen, the Syracuse Orange took to the field without fans in North Carolina today, but it wasn't the opener SU fans were hoping for. Syracuse falls 31 to 6. The Orange held to just 202 yards of total offense. Syracuse travels to Pittsburgh next Saturday. Even outside the stadium, game days will look different. Shaughnessy's at the Marriott Syracuse downtown had a dismal crowd compared to what Saturdays in the fall usually look like at the Irish pub. Last year we averaged about 300 people during home games before because we also had a great shuttle system that would take fans directly to the games. So that was a big thing for us, but you know, with having a different view this year, not having fans going to stadiums a little different, but we still want to have that atmosphere to get it. Coming up at 11, the steps the bar is taking to make it feel a little more normal for fans this season. A fire at the Arid Evans Inn in Fayetteville is forcing the restaurant to close until further notice. This afternoon, firefighters had to cut the roof open above the kitchen to find the flames. The restaurant posted on Facebook that the roof was under construction. SUNY Brockport near Rochester suspended its wrestling program this morning as one of the team members had contact with a coronavirus case. The college president says the team is not respecting distancing and mask policies and the risky behavior will not go unchallenged. 50 people were put into quarantine until their tests came back negative. Yesterday was the 36th straight day New York State's coronavirus infection rate was less than 1%. All right, Andrew, we take a look here at the numbers from today or Saturday. We see uh, temperature made it to 77 after a chilly start. Low and mid 40s, nothing in the rain bucket, obviously, with all the sun. Look at the start for the cross central New York, upper 30s to mid 40s. Definitely a chilly start to our day. Nothing on the radar. It will stay that way through most of tonight. There might be a shower toward morning. Lows will be in the low 60s and it'll be a breezy night. Clouds slowly increasing for tomorrow. Breezy. Uh, turning a little bit more humid with some showers, maybe a thunder shower developing, especially later morning into the afternoon. And then as we roll into your new week, well, a few morning showers off Lake Ontario. Otherwise, some breaks of sun develop later Monday. It's a cool day, mid 60s and a bit of a cool breeze too. Sunshine and cool 60s to near 70 here on Tuesday after a chilly start. Looks great here on Wednesday and Thursday. Then turns cooler again with some rain showers for the end of the week. Stay tuned for more news and weather after the game.